Hey guys, Chris here from ASMScholarships.com. If you are a regular YouTube subscriber to our channel, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome for the very first time. We help athletes connect to college coaches here in America and empower you to the pro sports world after college as well. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to communicate with the coach, especially when you get that first email reply back after you've done the promotion and got the interest, what you should do and how quickly you should respond to the coach from that initial communication. For our ASM scholarship members, uh, you can actually log into the portal. We actually have an extended video, more about the uh, phone call with the coach, what you should say to the coach, uh, with the questions with the actual the live interview, which is very important. So that's really for our members of asmscholarships.com. If you're not a member of asmscholarships.com, you can go to asmscholarships.com, subscribe, become a member, and you can access all the exclusive content. But for now, I'm gonna to explain to you what to do when a coach actually emails you back, which is very exciting. Um, but many people seem to mess this up, and really because it's because you're worried about messing the email reply back. So what we find is a lot of clients and athletes that we speak to, they wait too long. They, they take this first email, wait a week, two, three, even months to reply back. And the problem when you do that is that the coach then becomes de-interested. They think you're not interested in them. No different if you're you know, dating a girl or a guy when you're younger. If you get a text message saying, hey, let's go on a date, if you don't reply within a couple of days, they're just gonna think you're not interested, right? So it's the same thing with the coach. You want to get your reply back ASAP. I like to say within 48 hours minimum. But I'm gonna explain to you what you should put in that email back to the coach who said we're interested. And normally what the coach will email you is they'll say something like, hey, I'm coached from so-and-so program, and they'll give you a brief about the program, and they might even say how to reach them and when they would like to speak to you. But sometimes they just give you a brief about the program. So this is what you should write back to the coach, okay? If this is an email template, right? You've got your, your email. Uh, you got the, the subject. In the subject, you should put response, right? Response uh, to, to your inquiry. Or you can put, um, like, uh, thank you for your reply. Whatever you feel is best, but something like personal, something that says, like, thank you so much for replying to me, you know, response or action needed. So something like that. And then you want to do, in your subject, the first thing you want to do is your intro. So you want to say hi, hi coach, always refer, coaches like to be called coaches, so say hi coach, thank you for your email, uh, I'm very interested in your program and I'd love the opportunity to speak to you and learn more about it, to be considered uh, as, a, as a prospect for your class of 2019, 2020, whatever year you're trying to get recruited, put the class of the year you want to get recruited, so that's the intro. Then what you want to do is basically get to the point. <coughs> Right, so you want to say, let's organize a phone call to learn more about your program, and you want to put the details of how they can reach you. So, I'm reachable if you're international, WhatsApp's really good. Uh, lots of coaches use WhatsApp and say, yeah, I'm reachable on WhatsApp on whatever the phone number you are. You might want to put Skype, um, but coaches like to use WhatsApp for internationals. For Americans, just use a normal phone number that works perfectly well. Give them your phone number and say, hey, I'm reachable at this and this, and this number and then put the dates you're available. Dates, right? So see that, dates, intro point dates, and say, you can reach me at this and this date between these times, at what time would work best for you, right? So they can respond back to you and say, this date, this time is perfect, I will contact you on your phone number, and that's literally as simple as it gets. There's nothing complicated about this, but people seem to always overcomplicate this because it's new to you and you obviously you're very nervous, you're excited, and you don't want to mess it up. And I understand that completely. Being a former athlete myself, I completely understand how, how nervous it can be, but it really isn't that complicated. Intro, get to the point, how they can reach you, when are you available? Thank you very much for considering me. I'm very excited to be in your program. Look forward to your reply. Sincere, thanks, whatever your name is. So that's all you have to do. And you want to get that to them within 48 hours of when you receive that email. Maximum, do not delay this response. I can promise you, doing this 10 years now, if you delay this response for a week, two, three weeks, your chances of going to that program just go down and down and down every single day. So think of it like that. Think of it from when you get that first email, every single day you're losing 10% chance 
of ending up in that program if you don't respond to that coach. So you definitely get that reply back. It's not a complicated reply. It's a very simple reply, but all you're trying to do is get to that interview. That's the most important part. The coaches here are actually assessing you. They're assessing you to see how quickly you can respond to them, how prompt are you, and how good are your time management. So the longer you take, they're gonna think you're not very good at time management. You're not gonna be good when it comes to organizing your day in university. So you wanna be prompt. When you get to the phone call, the interview, when they say, yes, we'll, we, we can do so-and-so time on a Tuesday at 10 o'clock, that is now the coach interview. That's really gonna be content for our exclusive members at asmscholarships.com. That's where we're gonna to explain to you how you basically uh, make that phone call go really, really well. We're gonna go into detail in terms of what to say, what questions you should ask, um, how you should respond to the coach. That's really where we go into the full depth of the program. That's only for our members. We're giving something only for our members in terms of value. But this is useful for everybody. Everybody in the recruitment process needs to learn this. It's such a basic thing that we see people mess up time and time again. And you know, I hate to see it because if you mess this up and you're, already, you're so close and you don't nail this, you just ruin your chance of getting a scholarship. So do these steps, get to the interview, sign into asmscholarships.com. If you're not a member already, sign up and you can learn more about then how to actually get the interview to go really, really well with a phone call and a coach. Guys, thanks for watching again. Thank you for all the support at asmscholarships.com. We've had so many people contact us and, and send the message out to other people. We really appreciate your support. If you're new to the channel, thanks for watching the first time. Please subscribe for plenty more videos to come. We're gonna be making so much more content to help you guys get recruited. Take care.